Scientists and sea biologists say that the mass of squids on the planet exceeds the mass of all people. Keep this fact in your mind while you listen to the story of the Kraken. So no one knows exactly what this giant sea monster looks like. But according to the stories of old fishers and taverns, the records of travelers and legends, the Kraken looks like a giant squid. If so, it has the squid's anatomical properties and reproductive functions. And this is a big problem for us. A female squid can lay anywhere from three to 100,000 eggs. Even if most of them don't survive, it's still a lot. Many of these creatures live in the ocean's dark depths that people haven't yet fully explored, and it seems we'll know more about squids soon. The metabolism of these creatures is accelerating thanks to the increase in water temperature, and this causes population growth. Scientists call squids the weeds of the seas because of their rapid reproduction. They can potentially exceed the population of all fish and mammals. Perhaps there will be so many of them soon that they won't have enough food on the ocean floor. They will begin to migrate closer to the surface. Small squid and monstrous giant ones. There may be a kraken among them, or a few, or even tens, hundreds of thousands. And if this happens, humanity and all animals on Earth will face a huge problem. As the kings of nature, people can easily invent poison to destroy krakens. But how to spread this poison? Giant squids, along with ordinary fish, dolphins, whales, seaweed, and phytoplankton, will suffer if it gets into the water. More than half of the world's oxygen is produced by the ocean. And if people spread this poison in the water, they'll risk disrupting the entire planet's ecosystem. The ocean will become lifeless. So. People have to forget about poisoning the water. For a while, we will be helpless against the squid apocalypse. Let's say a couple of billion squids rise to the surface. A couple million of them are krakens. The first thing these monsters will want to do is get food. Lunch for them can be both shoals of fish and massive whales, and no one can stop them. Even if megalodons existed, they wouldn't be able to resist the giant tentacles and strong beaks of krakens. The fish population in the ocean has declined. This means that people can't go fishing anymore. We can catch fish in lakes, rivers, and seas, but it's not enough. Seafood has become very expensive all over the world. A fish tank with goldfish is a luxury. Of course, humans learn to catch giant squids, which solves the problem of hunger in some areas. The profession of a squid catcher is becoming prestigious all over the world. This kind of fishing is dangerous and requires a lot of strength and courage. The second problem is sea travel. Every day, people transport millions of tons of cargo across the ocean. Huge businesses and economies of entire countries work thanks to such transportation. But now, krakens swim close to the surface and make any voyage dangerous. One monster can quickly destroy a small ship. Ten or twenty krakens are able to sink a giant cargo vessel. This leads to a reduction in logistics chains. Communication between continents is now maintained by air. The number of flights is increasing. Plane tickets are rising in price. Travel is becoming too expensive. This leads to a reduction in the number of tourists in some countries, which disrupts their economies. There are more krakens and less food. Resting on a beach also becomes dangerous. Aggressive, hungry giant squids can come ashore to catch sunbathers. All shores are fenced. Swimming is forbidden. Of course, scientists invent some things to fight squids. Sound barriers, for example. Every ship is now equipped with a device that launches powerful ultrasonic waves into the water. They scare away all the fish and clear the way for boats. In the beginning, it helps, but then Kraken stop fearing it. Ultrasound only angers them. They pounce on ships and break sound barriers. Another thing that scares them away is sunlight. For millions of years, Krakens have been living on the dark ocean floor. Their eyes are used to the darkness, so they fear the bright light. During sunny weather, ships move freely. But as soon as the sun goes below the horizon or clouds obscure it, sea monsters come out of the ocean depths. It doesn't help much because it's impossible to sail across any ocean within a single sunny day. In addition, there is no guarantee that you won't get caught in a storm when the sun is hidden behind the clouds. That's why people invent powerful floodlights. They direct their beams at monsters' heads and drive them into the dark depths. Such projectors are expensive because they require a lot of energy. Only some ships can afford such a device. And while people seek more effective ways to fight krakens, squids multiply, and this becomes the solution to the problem. The ocean is running out of fish. Food is not available on land. Like a snake devouring its tail, squids start fighting with one another. 
The water foams, and squids cling to each other with tentacles. Big krakens defeat smaller monsters. Their population is shrinking. A few giant squids the size of the Eiffel Tower survive after long battles. And when the fight is over, little squids come into play. Billions of cephalopods pounce on giant krakens. They are like flies clinging from all sides. Giant monsters can't fight them. Great, the problem with voyages is solved. Large ships can set sail, but it's still dangerous for people to swim in the sea since tiny monsters are still hungry. Logistics chains have been restored, but fish are still scarce in the ocean. Squids, like parasites, don't allow other creatures to dominate. And here, scientists come to help fish. Let's go back to our reality for a second. There's such a thing as a gene drive. It's a substance that changes the genetic code of living creatures. For example, scientists have implemented a gene drive in mosquitoes that cause malaria. Biologists changed the genome of these insects, so some female mosquitoes became infertile. Then these females spread the gene throughout the mosquito colony. As a result, more insects that couldn't conceive appeared. They continued to spread the gene, and this went on until the population reduced significantly. A gene drive is a low-cost way to get rid of invasive species of insects or rodents. Thus, scientists can control the population of entire species. But such actions can be dangerous. If some animal disappears, it can disrupt the whole ecosystem and lead to the disappearance of other animals. In the case of mosquitoes, nature didn't suffer much. So scientists use a gene drive against squid. But why couldn't they do it from the very beginning? Ordinary squids didn't pose a threat, and their average life expectancy is from three to five years. If scientists had launched a gene drive, then in seven years, all small squids would have disappeared. But it wouldn't have worked with krakens. According to myths and legends, one such monster can live for several hundred years. Now when small squids have solved the problem with large ones, a gene drive comes into play. It takes several years to get rid of the squid. The ocean ecosystem begins to recover. People take fish and marine mammals from seas and rivers and transfer them to the ocean. The population of whales, sharks, octopuses, salmon, and hundreds of thousands of other species is growing. But then another threat awakens in the depths of the ocean. It turns out that when squids and krakens lived on the ocean floor, they didn't let even more terrible monsters move to the surface. Now that all arthropods have disappeared, new monsters are breaking free. First, marine earthquakes begin. But then, scientists discover that it's not the seabed shaking. Those are the backs of giant crabs. Hundreds of thousands of armored monsters with claws are rising to the surface. And this time, they can come ashore. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.